Hey everybody, Coach Toolshed here, and today we're going to be discussing the information dump we got from Fallout 76 for all the big YouTube channels that got invited out by Bethesda to play the game early, and as you might expect, I have a lot to say about the event, and more importantly, maybe the reactions that we've been seeing after the event. So, let's get right into it. So, the first thing that these channels did, which is quite predictable, is they all let you know ahead of time that, hey, yes, they were invited out to this event, but they were in no way biased or influenced by being flown across the globe on a private plane, being put up in a five-star resort, the Greenbrier Resort. Go ahead and do a Google image search of that, and let me know if you think that you might be impressed by it. it just go ahead and check it out. Do, a, do an image search for the, for the resort, and let me know if it looks a bit impressive to you. And let me know if you think that you might have been a bit biased if you were hand-selected by Bethesda to come out and help them promote their latest product. You got a little meet and greet with Pete. He was hovering around while they were playing, giving them little pointers here and there, you know, talking to the guys. They got their goodie bags. They got wine and dine. They had a private party. But they let us all know, once again, that they were not in any way influenced by this. So... Okay, let's get into the meat of the topic, though. Let's get into the game itself. So the first and most glaring, most obvious issue that we can see with this game is, of course, the horrible frame rate issues that we saw with the game. And once again, all of these content creators let us know that Bethesda assured them that this was going to be fixed in time for the beta. They're already on top of it. They already got... They already got it under control, it's going to be fixed in time for the beta. And this is the latest defense that a lot of people have been using. I've seen probably literally 100 different people use this defense today when saying, oh, but the Bethesda already said they're going to fix it. So ignore the fact that what you've seen in all these videos shows tremendous lag and latency. Ignore all of that because Bethesda already said they're going to fix it. Guys, the game, the, well, the beta, comes out in 14 days. This is a game that by Bethesda's own admission they've been working on since 2014. They bought, they bought a multiplayer focused studio to help them with this. And after four years of development time with this game, th this is what they have. And you're going to sit here with a straight face and tell me that they're going to have it fixed in 14 days. Please, please give me a break. First off, let's go through this. First off, this is Bethesda we're talking about. Let me know what game exactly Bethesda Game Studios has ever launched that didn't have frame rate problems. I'll wait. Please let me know. Name one. Because they all have. And now they're adding online and other players this was an obvious problem that was going to happen from the get-go. It's an obvious problem. Anyone could have seen this coming. And there's still people right now defending it because Bethesda says it's going to be fixed. Guys, that's absurd. It's not going to be fixed in time for the beta. And then when it's not fixed in time for the beta, then Bethesda is going to come out and be like, we're aware of the performance issues. It's going to be fixed in time for launch. And you guys will be making the same argument in two weeks. When, it, when the beta's out on Xbox. And then when that then when the launch actually comes out, they'll be like, oh, we're aware some users are having performance issues, so we're working on a patch. And then you'll all be pointing to the patch things. They're on top of it. They're fixing it. Guys, how, how many online games have, have we seen where this is an issue? And then you're adding it to that that is a Bethesda game, which is infamous for its bugs and its frame rate problems name name a major publisher that is most known for frame rate issues and if you're being objective it's bethesda even longtime fans would be the first to admit that if you really are a longtime fan you could admit that they <laughs> they always have horrible frame rates and to think that this game on on that size map was going to run smoothly in an online focused environment I, I, you, I, I'm not taking a personal shot, but please, rethink, <laughs> rethink everything you think you know, because you're delusional. Now let's talk about 
something else that people have been worried about, which is the questing. And of course, we've been told that there's more quests in this game than Fallout 4 ever dreamed of. However, if you take a quick look at some of the actual gameplay video, if you maybe tune out the person commentating over the, the video and just kind of look at some of the quests that they pick up, basically what I saw a lot was people going into a place, finding a note on a body, reading a note, getting the quest, and a lot of times I, I saw stuff like collect two Brahmin skin, like literal just fetch quests that aren't even being, they're not even being given to you by an NPC, which we already knew was not going to happen. Just everything's, everything's that I saw was pretty much just environmental stuff. You walk into a building, you get a quest. You do this, you get a quest. You check a computer console, you get a quest. So the issue that people were saying where they're worried that they're stripping everything out of the game, it's not going to have any focus, it's just going to be sort of radiant fetch quests aside from the main storyline, well, that's what it looks like. And I, you can, you can watch these guys playing, and you see on the right side of the screen, you see all of the quests, just the quest log just filling up, filling up, filling up. But really, take a look and read what some of these quests are. It's... It's as bog standard Bethesda tr just trash radiant side quests as you would expect. And that that's just the bottom. That's a fact. I mean, it's right there. Just look at some of these videos. And I know I've said this before, and it may sound like I'm beating a dead horse, but a lot of people still aren't aware that Todd Howard himself said in an interview that he directs his writers to not worry about giving proper quest to not write any sort of backstory just give them a quest send them out to do stuff he thinks that the going out to do stuff is the focus of the game he doesn't even want to focus on anything story-wise so we already know that these things were going to be weak to begin with because todd himself tells his writers to not put the effort in once again game makers notebook interview from april of this year please go listen to it if you don't believe me so we got the quests that Yes, there might be a lot of them, but that doesn't make them interesting. And of course, like I said, this game is its just a looter shooter. It's not an RPG, the way that people expect it to be. It's a looter shooter. So I think we'd all do ourselves a great benefit if we just started thinking of the game in that way, because that is, in fact, what this is. It's what I thought it is, and based on all the gameplay, if you really know what you're looking for, if you play these type of games before, that's all this game is. There's, there's no RPG elements going on. And like I've said before, without perpetual servers where you can go and role play in a world where there's set rules, where people are all playing, on, they're doing the same, they're all on the same page where it comes to their role playing ideas. You're just being tossed onto a random server at any given time, and that's just not going to happen. And please spare me the excuses of, oh, they promise private servers. Yes, the game's not launching with them though. And until they come out, it's not the game you're buying. So please, stop waving that around. Future promises by game developers mean literally nothing from any of them because they lie all the time. And I'm not giving a Bethesda a pass. All game developers lie about future features. I'm not giving Bethesda a free pass. It's not happening. So the other thing I see a lot of people talking about is the graphics. Aside from the frame rate issues, talking about just the graphics of the game a lot of people saying it looks beautiful i will say this it looks better than fallout 4 but to say they're beautiful in comparison to other modern AAA games is a stretch at best guys let me help you out a colorful color palette that that brightens up the screen does not mean that the graphics are actually good because it's this game looks exactly like Fallout 4 with some very minor graphical enhancements. 16 times the enhancements. Okay. I'm, I'm going to want to see some numbers on this. And I can't wait until the tech heads actually get their hands on this and are able to break this stuff down more specifically so we can figure out exactly what this 16 times the graphical enhancements really entails. Because, guys, it looks like Fallout 4 in the fall. With more leaves. That's what it looks like. There's lots of reds, lots of lots of lots of good color. The night colors. It. I mean, it looks fine. It looks fine for Fallout. But to suggest that these are some sort of breathtaking graphics is just no, no. Just 
There's a lot of open world games that look head and shoulders better than this. And saying otherwise, you're just not being objective. You're just not. I mean, period. Now, looking at the gunplay from what we've heard, even the guys who played it said the gunplay is essentially the same. They didn't really notice too much of a difference. And from everything we've seen, it looks like very similar type weapons. Same shooting mechanics. It, it, the recoil, the reload, everything looks basically the same. So there's really not too much to go into right there. If you've played Fallout 4, you probably have a great idea of how the guns are going to handle in this game. And let's get into the PvP. So the PvP, like I just did a long video on it just last week, talking about how they've basically neutered the PvP to the point where you really can't engage at all unless somebody really wants to engage with you, and then it's just a quick one-on-one. -on -one. And that's exactly what we saw in these videos. People just doing little chip damage, pretty much no damage at all, even when walking right up to people. So going up to someone and trying to just fire them down is not going to happen, especially with, like I said, with the ability that players are going to have to fast travel, which is something I talked about last week. If players can fast travel you when they don't engage in combat with you, there is no real PvP unless the person wants to engage with it. And then what we saw in the video looked like pretty quick, boom, boom, you're dead. And then, yes, teabagging enabled, guys. Hope you wanted that in Fallout. Teabagging enabled. So have fun with that, everybody, because that's confirmed. Saw it in multiple videos. Some hot steaming teabagging. So get ready for that. Oh boy, L loving it. Can't wait to have that in my fallout. And you can say, oh, you're a traditionalist. Well, uh, in something, yeah, I don't want teabagging in my fallout. Come on. Do I really need to explain this? Come on. What are we, are we all, are we 12 years old? Are we all 12 years old? Now, the one thing I will give the game credit for is I do think it looks interesting to explore just as the world itself. The the map looks fine for a Bethesda game, like I said. It looks fine. But the uh, some of the locations were stuff that I would like to get out and explore. The, it did look interesting. And that, to me, is the one... that There you go. There's a one positive takeaway I can pull from this game. Because, honestly, everything else we saw in the gameplay was pretty much exactly what I've been saying and what I've been expecting this whole time. And you might say, Coach... That's just confirmation bias. Well, you might have a point, but can I make the can I can I make the same argument that the guy said, where I just say claim no bias, and you can just believe me at face value? Just I have no bias. Okay, I might be a little bit biased on the negative side towards this game, but like I said, the reason why I've been negatively biased towards this game from the beginning is because this what we saw today is the train wreck that I saw coming. Back at the E3 announcement. This is this is exactly what it looks like. And now if you go on the fanboy channels, you're going to obviously see people defending this game to the death. But go on some of the mainstream channels. And what you'll see is, by and large, the masses are out. They're out. They're out on this game. So like I said in my video from last week where I discussed this, to me, this is a game where if, you, if you're looking for RPG, it's not there. If you're looking for hardcore survival, it's not there. If you're looking for PvP, it's not there. But if you're looking for a mishmash mess of every gaming element from a games as a service title that you could possibly jam into one single game, well, that's what you got. You got a half-baked concoction of just just randomness thrown in with a Fallout skin on top. It's a looter shooter, guys. Not an RPG. Can't role play on random servers. It does not work that way. <laughs> Anyone holding out hope for that, it does not work that way. Now, you can have fun with your friends. And that's the catchphrase. You can have fun with your friends. That is the 2018 terminology for we didn't create actual worthwhile content. And that's what I am most concerned with. That's the problem I see with this game is that the content that we saw didn't look interesting enough the lack of moving about npcs human settlements all of that dialogue trees the world seemed dead it seems like you're just out hunting monsters it's the same loop that they tried to instill in fallout 4 
where you go out, you explore, you kill a bunch of stuff, you bring stuff back to your base, and you craft. Then you go out. It's just a loop. And I'll be honest, I can get addicted to a good gaming loop. But I feel like I just did that with Fallout 4 for hundreds of hours. And sure, if this was DLC, if this was like a full-scale DLC, I'd be like, oh, wow. Cool map, yeah. Fallout 4 DLC, yeah. Let me in there. But this that's not what this is. This is a whole new thing. With multiple issues. And once again, just... Just the performance issues alone. Honestly, guys, if you think this game is going to be smooth at the beta, if you think it's going to be smooth at launch, please, please, stop thinking that. That is that is completely impossible. It's not going to happen. Please get that out of your head. Please stop using that as a shield for your defense. It's ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. And if you're being honest with yourself, you know it is. If you've played a Bethesda game, you know it is. Like I said, there's no they've been working on this game four years. They're not gonna suddenly whip up the magic formula in two weeks. Be realistic, guys. Please. Just that's all I'm asking you. Be realistic. So that's pretty much all I gotta say about this. This video's gone on long enough. I'm sure some of you were sick of it 15 minutes ago listening to me rant and rave. But the bottom line is. This game is pretty much what a lot of us, it's not just me, this is what a lot of us expected it to be. It's having the same issues we expected it to have. It's no shock to me what we saw today. The game running like it did, if that did shock you, if you think that that's not how it's going to ship, I, I honestly do not know what to tell you. I think you are living in a fantasy world. I'm not trying to attack you personally, but you, you that, that's a major sticking point for me. Is that I saw so many people just saying, "Oh, Bethesda's going to fix that." They said they're going to fix it. I just I cannot fathom how people still buy excuses like that when people are trying to market their games. How can you just buy into that blindly? It's it's unbelievable to me. Please, guys, wake up. All right, enough. I'm Coach Toolshed. So I've been rambling. I've been rambling. I apologize. I'm Coach Toolshed. You let me know how wrong I am down in the comments below. I'd love to get into it with you. Love to hear it. I'm not going to insult you. But come at me. Come, let me know what you got. Let me know what you got. I'm sure I'm going to hear it all. So, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll be bringing you some more information this week about a couple different games that I've been playing. And I'll be talking about any new updates that we get with Fallout 76 and, of course, Red Dead Redemption 2 which is coming in just a couple of weeks. So that's it for me, Coach Toolshed, a.k.a. Negative Nancy. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can stay in tune with the channel moving forward. And as always, keep it turned to 11.